In this tip of the day, let's take a look at setting up the tool change time within one CNC. Now, the tool change time can play a critical role in calculating accurate cycle times. Fortunately, within one CNC, it's very simple to set up the tool change time. Let me give you an example. Here we have a part and we have five machining operations. Now, if we open up the job sheet by double clicking on the toolpath group, we're going to select job sheet. Once that opens up, we're going to select view PDF file. There we go. And the first thing you're going to notice is that we're using five tools and our cycle time is 3 minutes and 12 seconds. However, this cycle time does not take into account the tool change time. So let me show you how you can set up the tool change time. It's very, very simple. There's actually two places in which you can do that. The first place would be to take your cursor, select NC, and then select NC Setup. And from there, you're going to want to select the post processor in which you'd like to set up the tool change time. In this example, we're going to use the default post processor. Lower right hand corner, it says tool change seconds. Simply type in the amount of seconds it takes for an average tool change on that machine tool. All right, process is going to be exactly the same for every single post processor. For this post processor, we'll say four seconds. We're going to click OK to that. That looks great. Now, let's go back into that same job sheet. We're going to double click up here. And again, we're going to open up the job sheet. We'll go back into our PDF file. And now you're going to see that our cycle time is now 3 minutes 32 seconds. Very, very nice. So what this has done is this has taken into account the time it takes to change tools. Very, very easy to set up and critical in regards to producing accurate cycle times. Thank you so much for watching this tip of the day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.